This is a reading from Acts chapter 8, verse 9 through 23, and it reads as follows. A man named Simon had been a sorcerer there for many years, amazing the people of Samaria and claiming to be someone great. Everyone from the least to the greatest often spoke of him. Everyone from the least to the greatest often spoke of him. As the great one, the power of God, they listened closely to him because for a long time he had astonished them with his magic. But now the people believed Philip's message, the good news concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. As a result, many men and women were baptized. Then Simon himself believed and was baptized. Simon himself believed and was baptized. He began following Philip everywhere he went, and he was amazed by the signs and the great miracles Philip performed. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted God's message, they sent Peter and John there. As soon as they arrived, they prayed for the new believers to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had not yet fallen upon any of them, for they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands upon these believers, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw the Spirit was given, when the apostles laid their hands on the people, he offered them money to buy the power. Let me have this power too, he exclaimed, so that I may lay hands on people and they may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter replied, May your money be destroyed with you for thinking you can buy the gifts of God. May your money be destroyed with you for thinking you can buy the gifts of God. You have no part in this, for your heart is not right with God. Your heart is not right with God. Mm. Repent of your wickedness and pray, the, pray to the Lord. Perhaps He will forgive your thoughts. For I can see that you are full of bitterness and jealousy and held captive by sin.